close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to commit yourself to the breath while you're here. And all the other thoughts that can come wandering through the mind, you don't have to follow them. You follow the breath. It's when you've set up an intention like this that you give yourself the opportunity to see where your other intentions are going. Because otherwise it's like hopping trains. You're on one train and then you hop on top of another one and top of another one and you end up who knows where and you don't know how you got there. But if you say, I'm going to stay on this one train, and then you see, oh, here's another train that goes off, but that's going in that direction. That's not a direction I want to go. You stay right here. Stay right here. You begin to see how easily the mind slips away. And then you can ask yourself, okay, this is, this is the power that's in control of your life right now, is your mind, and it's not even under your control. You can't keep it with any one thing for more than a few seconds at a time. That's something to be worried about, but it's something to be fixed. You've combined these qualities of ardency, mindfulness, and alertness. In other words, keep in mind that you're going to stay with the breath, and then you're alert to watch what's actually happening. And you're ardent in trying to come back to the breath as quickly as possible when you've wandered off, and to stay with the breath as a comfortable object. Work with the breath both in the way you direct it and how you think about it. See what's really good for the body right now, whether long breathing or short breathing. If the body's tired, how can you breathe in a way that gives it more energy? When you're tense, how can you breathe in a way that relaxes you? And how about the mind? Does the mind need to be given more energy, or does it need to be calmed down? These are things that you can pay attention to and then you can work with. And in working with them, you get the mind more and more under your control, which means that your thoughts and your actions are going to be more under your control as well. All too often you hear people, when they're asked about why they did something, they have to stop and think for a few minutes. Say, why did I do that? And they were the ones who actually made the choice, but it was made underground. And they've done experiments where people actually they can prove that people actually go back and make up a reason. All of which is pretty sad. You want to have a good, firm sense of what's really useful in life, what's really important in life, and then make sure that your actions and your words and your thoughts all go in that direction. It all comes out of the mind, and the training of the mind is the most important thing you can do. So here's your chance. Your monastery is designed to foster this as the most important activity you're going to be doing while you're here. And it's all to your benefit. <laughs>